morning, Wildcats. I am Christopher Lemus, and these are your morning announcements. Wildcats, as you know, we are always in need of resources for our education system. Recently, our PTSA donated brand new computers to Northwestern. For more on this, we go to Alexa in the Media Center. Hello, Wildcats. We have a treat for you. We have here the best PTA in the state who donated some computers for us. We are so grateful, and we know that the PTA does so much for us. Um, so we are here with... Phineas Bogger. Jacqueline Gilbert. Laurie Morrissey. And Mary Bogger. So what was the process to be able to donate the computers to Northwestern? Well, uh, first we had to identify a need, and one of the teachers last year who was a volunteer with the PTSA came forward and told us that there was a need for new computers in the library. We presented the idea to um, the P at the PTA meeting, and um, my husband Finn here uh, submitted a grant request uh, to the town of University Park, who's been very supportive in the past. What is the process to get a grant for computers? Well, uh, it's not that difficult. Uh, they have a, a, a format they want you to use, but it's pretty much in the email format requesting uh, the problem the school would be experiencing by not having the print or, or computer in this case. Um, what would the school benefit from receiving these computers? Uh, of course, the cost, you know, how much money do we need? Uh, and it goes before the uh, town committee which this person right here is a ward member represented and she actually supported us on this effort uh, and we went to one of the meetings where it was presented uh, we explained the cause and what was what the expectations were and how the school would benefit we received the money the next fall so this took almost uh, six months or more uh, and then we got the money and from there it was a matter of contacting the school system and going through their purchase supply system and have it delivered here. As we can see, it's a very lengthy process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We would like to just thank you so much, a part of the student body that we appreciate the computers so much. Ms. Gilbert, how has this benefited the students? Um, well, everyone who's listening to this knows how um, dicey the printing situation has been for a couple of years. Uh, you know, the first thing students say to me when they come in is, are the printers working? <laughs> and um, many times they'd have to share their documents with me in order to get them printed. Well, with the new computers, um, A, they work a lot faster. So um, they did a great job of identifying um, a computer, a new computer system that um, is, was much better, worlds did better than what we had before. And uh, we've been able to unify the system so it's all this going to the same printer. And it's just made the printing process so much smoother. And I think more students are getting to, time, getting to class on time now. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. That's what we wanted to hear. Yeah. No, it has been, um, it's just really made um, the whole business of the library run smoother. What kind of documents are needed in order to get the grants for this? I'm actually not sure. The one thing I would add, though, is there were seven council members who voted on it, and the, the vote was unanimous. So it was seven people representing the, the entire town, University Park. Again, we would like to thank you, and it was such a pleasure meeting you. Welcome, thank Alexa. You. Such a pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you, Alexa. Upcoming graduates. Registration for credit recovery for second semester begins January 20th and ends on January 24th. Classes for credit recovery begin on January 27th. See your counselor or Mr. P Mr. PT in room C323. Wildcats, as you know, every year we have our annual science fair, which features the talents of our future innovators. For more on this, we go back to the media center with Kira. Hey guys, I'm here with... Jalen. What grade are you in? I'm in 10th grade. Okay. So, have you participated before in science fairs? Yes, I've participated, participated before, and it's like my elementary school years, and the projects I've done would have been like, what's the difference between right-handed and left-handed people? Like, do left-handed people use their left side more, or do right-handed people use their right side more? The other project I've done is, um, yeah, I, I really don't remember, but yeah. It's fine. <laughs> How long did it take for you to complete your project? Um, it took around one or two months to finish with all the details and the data. 
What do you think was the hardest part of the whole process? Well, the hardest part, to be honest, was um, like looking at the project because, you know, now in high school you have a lot of stuff to do. So it's like you don't really have the time to look at your plan every single day. And it's like you need to have a constant at one specific time. And then, yeah, take part of that time just to look at what's happening with the plant while it's growing. Wow. Well, your project looks really cute. And thank you for taking time off to let us interview. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm here with Miss Nancy Villatoro. What grade are you in? I'm in the 12th grade. Okay, now what made you choose this project? I thought, let's think about, can chewing gum increase people's speed and accuracy for on simple cognitive tasks? What do you think was the hardest part of completing your project? The hardest part actually was the decoration. Nice. Well, I hope you got a really good grade and thank you for taking time off to let us interview. Thank you. Wow, thank you, Kira. And now we have an announcement. Pennies for patients. Superheroes, superheroes, please assemble. Pennies for patients. Donations will be accepted December 2nd through February 28th. Become a hero and help patients in need. All donations are helpful and will go towards the proper care and medicine for cancer patients. Join us in helping them win the fight against cancer and to find the right treatment. <laughs> now back to the anchor. Thank you, Wildcats. And these have been your morning announcements. I'm Christopher Lemus, and have a great day, Wildcats.